Hey guys, Taven here at the Quirky Lotus. Um, I wanted to check in on you guys on this beautiful full moon day. Um, I don't know where you are, but in South Carolina, it's really pretty. Um, we have finally went under a home or work uh, thing, whatever the word is for that. Um, so uh, I snuck away for one last kind of trip to the shop left the teenagers unsupervised. I felt like, honestly, they could probably use a little bit of self-supervision. I think they were uh, getting annoyed at me being on top of them all the time, and I probably vice versa. So, slipped away for a real quick second to um, just kind of touch base, and also to chat with a friend. Um, prior to this, um, we had had some exchanges yesterday and today about, you know, just the struggles and the roller coaster that we're on and where we are mentally, just checking in on each other, you know. And um, so uh, we did a, a, a long video chat, which was amazing. Um, in the past, it's something that I probably would have been, you know, 30 minutes and I'm done, right? I'm done with connecting. I'm done with, with having that. Um, but here lately, that connection is the difference between today, it was the difference between me showering and getting out of bed because somebody else was going to see me on the other end and um, not showering, you know? Um, so I think right now it's really important to remind ourselves that we really need to pay attention to the connections in our life. Um, reach out to the people um, that are in your life. Reach out to the people that are in your space um, and just see how they're doing. If you're in a space where you're in a good space and you can handle somebody, if they're not in a good space, then reach out and check on somebody. If you're not in a good space, then, you know, reach out and say you need to be checked on. Um, I think those are really important things right now. Today, it was a big deal for me. You know, um, this friend res responded in the sense of, it, it was a beautiful response. You know, she was like, how are you? And I was like, I, I'm a train wreck today. You know, I'm, I'm not too good today. And her response was, how can I support you on that train wreck? You know, and that's a pretty powerful thing. And um, we had a really cool, long conversation uh, just about all the things that are going on. Um, and so we kind of came to some really neat collaboration of, uh, I don't know, things that we think are happening, thoughts, philosophical ramblings, maybe. I don't know what the right word is there. Um, but I wanted to share one of them with you guys. Um, just kind of the whole Quirky Lotus family kind of came to mind whenever we were talking about it. Um, we use the word, a lot of light workers use the word uh, light worker to start with. Um, we use healer, um, ascension, 5D, um, and we uh, use the, the phrase dark night of the soul. If you ever kind of looked at things on Facebook or, you know, memes and that kind of stuff, you've probably seen empath, dark night of the soul. Um, this is completely my opinion, our, my collective philosophical ramblings uh, from, from parts of my inner circle, but um, I really feel like the whole, the world universally is dealing with a dark night of the soul right now. So let me back up and try to explain a couple of a very uh, juvenile, you know, I'm going to do it in kind of like a I don't know what the word is, but anyway, very non-perfect uh, kind of way. Um, so ascension is, in essence, a time um, in your journey, in your life, that you come to a point where you realize that you need to expand on things. Um, there are different theories on exactly what this looks like and how this works, but, but for the purposes of our little pep talk, it's a time where you move from one space in your mind space and body and soul and, and stardust, and you move to the next layer of being, the next cycle, the next part of your journey. Um, it can kind of be equated to the difference of um, like when you graduate high school, right? We graduate high school, this is monumental kind of moment where we have accomplished something and now we're, you know, tasked with the next set of being. Ascension works kind of the same way, again, very juvenile way to explain it, but it'll work. Um, so there's a thing in this cycle that's called Dark Night of the Soul. It is dark, and it is ugly, and it is messy. Um, so for lightworkers who have kind of been growing and healing and expanding themselves uh, for, for a while now, 
I found is they go through this blissful state of really learning these new things and expanding and growing and, and having all these powerful synchronicities and, and moments. And then out of nowhere, it kind of hits them and it gets dark and they feel alone and they start to recognize that, you know, some friends that they had six months ago have fallen away. Um, maybe the world looks uglier, maybe the world looks tougher, maybe the world looks meaner, you know, there's a lot of different things can happen in this moment, but ultimately it's just a very dark time, um, that a lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, not the Rona, um, but, uh, that a lot of people, um, really have to, uh, step into their own space and kind of hermit and say, you know, okay, what can I do to help me feel better? What can I do to help heal me? Um, Lightworkers, healers have been dealing with this for, for a while. You know, they've been going through these cycles. Um, if you've been on any healing journey whatsoever, then you know this moment. Um, I would like to challenge everyone to kind of see that universally, we're collectively kind of going through a dark night of the soul right now. We are going through a time where we're being asked to retreat, being asked to really decide where we put our joy and our love and our focus and our intention and where where do we want to grow things at? Where what do we want to garden? You know, do we want to plant squash or do we want to plant cucumbers or do we want to plant love and patience and you know, all these different things. We're being asked to metaphorically really, you know, decide where we're putting our focus. It's what a dark night of the soul basically calls you to do. It strips away, it throws you in the shower, it hoses you down with cold water and whatever burns your skin, and it lets you emerge a different version of yourself. It brings you a towel and gives you a hug, but that doesn't come till the very end because none of it makes sense. We're in the rough of it, right? Um, I really want to encourage everybody to recognize that that everything is as it should, you know, as it should be. And I know that sounds so cheesy, but in these moments, we need to honor each moment in the now moment that it is. We need to really take time and make sure that we're cultivating and growing the things that are important to us. We're creating the life that we want to have. Um, it doesn't negate the stresses and the worries and the what ifs and the fears. Um, but in a dark night of the soul, if you don't reach out, if you don't connect with those around you who can remind you that spirit is beautiful and there is magic in the world, if you don't reach out, you can spiral, you know, really fast. So I really want, if you're not in that space, wonderful, beautiful, reach out, make art, make memes, sing a song, do something to shed some light into the world. If you are in that space, find those people who are doing those things and reach out to them. Nine times out of ten, they have something that you can exchange. There's an exchange that can happen there that can really help each and every one of us on this journey. And I think that it's pushing us to really find our place in our tribe. And I think we're going to see that there's a really big universal tribe going on. Um, I know that got deep. No, um, you know kind of threw it out there, but I really wanted to um, bring those words up. Some of you may know those words. Some of you may know those phrases. Some of you don't. Um, think about it. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Um, this does have an end, guys. We really, um, we really have more power than uh, we give ourselves credit for, so uh, make sure that you keep your thoughts um, not necessarily in a positive place. If you're not okay, then be not okay. Be okay with not being okay. Yesterday, I was not okay. Um, and today I was only just a little bit better, you know, and tomorrow, hopefully it'll be even better. Honor the moment that you're in without beating yourself up for it. Um, allow for each moment to come. Um, allow for yourself to surrender to that moment, but reach out to the people in your tribe. Uh, when you need to. And when people reach out to you, don't, don't be a dick, reach back, you know, give something back. Um, at some point in your journey, there are probably people there to help you heal. Um, so make sure that you're honoring your, your part in the tribe, right? All right, guys, that's all I got tonight, today, whatever. Um, so I'm going to get home before we get on this curfew. 
um, and all that kind of jazz. So, uh, love you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Um, and we're going to get through this. So, all right. Bye, y'all.